do some maths with the weather. So I'm going to go meet up with a friend at four o'clock. I'm going to come home about eight o'clock. Should I take a warmer top with me as well as what I have on? So I guess the maths that I need to do is find the difference in temperature between when it's four o'clock and when I'm going to come home about eight. Okay, four o'clock, eight o'clock. Uh, the difference appears to be going down from 15 degrees to 14 degrees. So the difference in temperature is minus one degrees Celsius. So probably I don't need to take an extra layer, just getting one degree colder. The difference in temperatures is minus one degrees. Okay, my mum's asking me whether it matters what time she goes out for a jog. So what the maths is, we're going to work out the range in temperatures for the whole of this time period. So if we look at all of these temperatures here, what is the range in those temperatures is from the lowest, 13, up to the highest at 15. Working out that gap, that difference, that is going to be a difference, a range of 2 degrees C. Uh, so probably it doesn't really matter when your mum goes out, to be honest, because it's all pretty much the same. It's only 2 degrees different between the hottest and the coldest. Okay. My friend's wondering whether I had an average, a hotter temperature than they did. Okay. Well, I'm going to work out my average temperature. Um, when I say an average, when anyone in like the news or anything says average, they mean the mean. Okay, so the maths is going to be to work out the mean temperature over the day. Uh, how do I do that? Well, the mean, remember, is you add them up and divide by how many there are. So I'm going to add up all of these numbers and divide by how many there are. Let's get ourselves a calculator. So what have I got? I've got um, 14 plus 15 plus uh, some more 14s. Let's just do 14 um, times by 4. That's an easy way of doing it. Plus uh, 13 plus 13. So you can see here um, the sum that I've done. And if I hit enter on that, 111. 14 and 15 and 14, four more of them. And 13 and 13 is 111. Okay, so I've got a total of 111. Divide by how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 111 divided by 8. Calculate, please. Uh, divide by 8. Here we go. The answer is on average 13.875. Okay. Now 13.875 is a bit of a ridiculous temperature to give, to be honest. Like what the crazy accuracy is this? Like some no one even knows what that is. For me, it's probably the best you can do is like one decimal place. So I could write, uh, I could just say 13.8. Uh, see, the answer said to give one decimal place. So what I'm doing is just keeping one number after the decimal point. So I'm just going to stop right here because here's a decimal point and one number after that is where I'm going to stop. But 13.8 is a rubbish answer to give because look, 13.875, that's quite a lot closer to 13.9 degrees. Okay. So because this next number after where I'm stopping, this next one here, because that's a big number, what I'm going to do is I'm going to round up and have 13.9 as my answer. So the mean, I added up more the temperatures up and divided by how many there are. One decimal place meant I'm going to keep one number after the decimal point, And I'm just going to round it so it's as close as possible to the actual answer. Okay. My sister challenges me to guess what temperature it was when she went out. What's the maths? I'm going to work out the mode, the modal temperature, because then I've got best chance of being right. It's kind of obvious, right? Let's have a look. 14, 14, 14, 14. There's loads of 14s. Chances are it was probably 14 degrees when she went out. Um, 14 degrees is the mode, is the most common. Okay. If I had guessed 13 degrees, what is the probability that I would have been correct? 
Well, there's one, two of those 13 degrees. So the probability is two out of 